Welcome back to every chest YouTube channel. Today's guys are going to learn how to make this draped hanging sleeve that we see here using this fabric. This is can be used on an half shoulder blouse or a tube. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this sleeve, um, it's a very simple hanging sleeve. It's like a draped sleeve. I'm going to be sewing it to this off shoulder blouse that I have. Okay, you can see that this has a ham hole, but you can equally sew it to a tube that does not have a ham hole. It's a very simple tutorial and it's going to be really short. So I'm going to be using a lace fabric for this and I'll make sure that the lace I'm working with has a selvage. You can see this scallop that you have on the tip of your lace. So if yours doesn't have it, you just need to hem it. So the measurement that you will need for this lace is the, oh, is the measurement that you used in going off for your, for your, oh, for your off shoulder. So like I said, you need a measurement that you remember when you're going off from your off shoulder. For this particular pattern, for the front, I went off by six inches, okay? I'm going to be reducing this to five and a half inches because I want it to be as firm as possible so that it's not going to be shifting. So for the front, I went off by five and a half and for the back, I went off by around eight, um, around eight inches somewhere here. Okay, so you just need to measure what you need to make your pattern a full, to make your bodies a full pattern. You can see that it's lower at the back. So whatever it is that you need is what you what you will use for me for the front i said i'm using five and a half so this is the five and a half i'm working with for the front and this is the back so all together i have about 12 and a half inches so you just need to measure it or you can just take it to your mannequin and use that to be a guide for you to know the measurements you're going to need so what you need to do now is to measure that exact measurement on your lace fabric so this 12 and a half inches that I measured here, the 13 and a half, I'm going to measure it right here as well. And then I'll cut off the excess. So that is the length that you are going to work with. Remember, this is not on the side, this is the salvage area. It's going to be like this, okay? So one for the front and one for the back. So this is going to be the other part. This is where we are going to sew. So now I have measured this. Remember, it's like this. And I measured I've cut out the 13 and a half inches. So depending on how wide you want the the sleeve to be, that's what you're going to use for your width. For me, I'm working with nine inches here, and here I'm still going to hem it. Remember, this part is not the selvage; it's the selvage that you don't need to hem. For this side, I'll still need to hem it. So that's why I'm having that allowance. So I'm going to hem it. By the time I hem it, and it needs like this, I'll have around eight inches, which is okay for me. So I'll go ahead and hem this now and bring it back to show us how to drip. Okay, so I have hemmed this. You can see that it is neat now. So the next thing to do now is to go ahead and gather this to my sleeve. So now I'm going to start from where my dart line is. You can see where I sew, where the dart line is for the front. That's where I'm going to sew. So you just find a way to turn this armhole neatly and then I'm going to gather all of this in such a way that the part that you hemmed is going to be inward and then the part that's going to be outwards is where your lace is so now i'm going to go ahead now and gather or pleat all of this to this so like i said you make sure that the measurement that you took for your off shoulder is very firm okay because you don't want the sleeve to be dropping so uh, for the front now i'm going to go ahead and pleat this to it like this so i'll just hold it with my pin so I just split it to the space that I have. So if it's also a, a tube blouse, you just split it to where you want it to be on your shoulder. You can do that on your mannequin. It will make the it's work easier for you. So for me, this is an half shoulder blouse that has a ham hole. So clearly, I know where I have to place this. So now I'm placing it just like this. And this is how I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew. So after pinning for the front, this is what it's going to look like. I'll go ahead now and do the same thing for the back. So for the back as well, I'm going to go ahead and gather it to this part before my ham hole, you can see. And then you turn this ham hole neatly. So I'll go ahead and do this on my sewing machine now and bring it back to show us what it looks like. So I've gone ahead to sew it as you can see. You just gather it to that part where your shoulder is going to rest. This is the front. And this is what it looks like on the back so now when you put it together 
this is what you have on the inner part the inner part has to be the part that you hemmed and i said this measurement you need to take it firm very firm especially if your lace stretches because you want it to sit exactly on your shoulder if it's not so firm it can be dropping off and you don't want that so now all this is going to just drop to the ham area so if you want this to be longer you just increase remember i used eight in nine inches for mine and by the time i hemmed it i have about eight inches or so okay so you can see i have eight inches after a minute so if you want yours to drop more you just increase the measurements that you use there so now i'll take it to the mannequin so that you can see what it looks like okay so this is what it looks like on the mannequin you can see where we gathered here which is exactly on your shoulder point so you just need it to be as firm as possible when you're taking the measurement and this is how it just drops so if you want it to drop more than this all you just need to do is to extend the measurement that you use on your weight you can see how beautiful it is looking and how simple it is to make this i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye